Hi guys, this video is all about the test for iron 2 ions. So we're going to crack on with the experiment first to see what the observations are and then we're going to talk about the reactions that are actually happening. So here's a sample of iron 2 ions. When I react it with sodium hydroxide, this is what you can see happening. So hopefully you can see that it's making a green precipitate, that's a green solid product that's being formed. And if I add an excess of sodium hydroxide, then you can see that it is completely insoluble in excess um, and it remains as a green precipitate. Now with the ammonia, there's a fresh sample of iron 2 plus here, with the ammonia, what we can see is we can see that you also get that same green precipitate. So the observations are identical for sodium hydroxide and for ammonia. Both of them produce a green precipitate that is insoluble in excess. Right, so as normal, now it's equation time. Let's work out where that green precipitate came from. So we did the reaction with sodium hydroxide and with ammonia. But remember that ammonia in water is really NH4 plus and OH minus. And the Fe2 plus is reacting with the hydroxide ions in both examples. So actually the equation behind what is happening is identical for both. The Fe2 plus reacts with the OH minus to produce iron hydroxide. The iron hydroxide is your solid product, that's the precipitate that we see, and that's your green precipitate that is insoluble in excess. That is it for the test for iron 2. Look at the rest of the videos to get the rest of your cation tests to add to your toolkit.